Hello students, this is Professor Sagar Birje and I will be handling you the subject analog and digital electronics for third semester computer science department. So here I will be giving you the brief introduction to the subject analog and digital electronics, what this subject is all about and what is the learning outcomes of this particular subject. What exactly this subject is, what you are going to learn everything is going to be discussed what is the contents of the syllabus the author and what exactly we are going to practice in making this subject more easier effective and learnable that is uh, what is the main objective of today's class so the subject name as i told you analog and digital electronic as the subject title mentions there are two different things that you will be learning in this particular subject one is the analog part and the second part will be your digital electronic part. So this is in continuation with your second semester subject basic electronics. So whatever basic things that you have learned in your second semester that is in your first year of engineering the same concept will be carried forward in your third semester in which you will be learning some of the advanced concept in this particular area. Okay. So the subject code as I mentioned it is 18 CS 33. So in this particular subject, you have not only the theoretical concept that we will be learning, also along with this theoretical concept, we will be also concentrating on the practical aspects of the subject uh, that you will be learning. So whatever concept that you will be learning in each module, those concepts we will be practicing it in a practical aspect in your labs. So what all concepts that you are going to learn? What is the textbook that you need to refer? Okay, so all these things we are going to discuss today. So before we start with the sub syllabus, let me brief up you with the course outcome that we are going to have uh, in this particular subject. Okay, so the course outcome is the first module which is basically focusing on the analog part of this particular subject tells you that this module is going to help you to brief up about the analyzing of the applications related to the operational amplifiers. Okay, so where you will be going with the analog circuit designing using photodiodes, the timer ICs, the power supply and regularity ICs and as I mentioned the op amps. So you will be overall learning about these concepts in this particular module. The second course outcome with respect to this subject is explaining the basic principle of analog to digital and digital to analog conversion circuits and developing the same. So we will be practicing this concept practically in your labs also. Apart from that, you will be learning how to simplify the digital circuits using K-maps and quinn mcclusey methods. Already you people have studied Boolean algebra. You have applied the Boolean laws in simplifying the Boolean expression, which helps in turn to develop a good uh, circuitry, which is effective one. But apart from that, we have another technique of minimizing the expression, that is your K-map. And also along with K-map, you have another technique called as quinn mcclusey method. Those concepts you will be learning. Okay, so the fourth course outcome explains you the gates, flip-flops and making the use of these flip-flops and gates in designing of different data processing circuits. Here you will be also learning about different registers, counters and compare them with different types. Apart from that, you will be learning various HDL programs. So these HDL programs will help you to develop a software program before you start designing a circuitry. So basically these are some of the basic course outcomes that you are going to have in this particular subject. So which is very very important. Now let us uh, start with the contents of the syllabus that you will be going through. Okay, 
So as I told you, this subject consists, consists of two parts. One is the analog part and the second one is the digital part. The first part or the first module that you will be learning is, we will be focusing on the analog part. So here, what exactly you are going to learn? In this module, you are going to focus on photo light emitting diodes, the optocouplers, the bijunctional transistors, okay, and the op operational amplifier application circuits. Apart from that, you will be learning about IC555 timer where you will be using this for designing a peak detector. You will be design using this IC for designing a skimmit trigger. Then you will be also learning about active filters and non-linear amplifiers, the relaxation oscillators, current to voltage and voltage to current converters. Fine. And apart from that, you will be also learning about digital to analog and analog to digital converters. So this is all about the module 1, which focuses on basically on the analog part. From module 2 onwards, we will be switching on to the digital part. So what exactly you are going to learn in this particular section? So this digital part is in continuation with your basic electronics, where you have left with Boolean algebras concept. Here we will be starting with the KMAP minimization form of switching functions. So here you will be learning how KMAP can be used effectively in simplifying the Boolean expression. Apart from that, we will be learning about different uh, methods uh, for simplifying the equation like quinn maclessy method and Patrick's method for simplifying the Boolean expression, which we could not achieve using the Boolean laws. So module 2 focuses on that. Module 3 talks about your combinational circuit designing and simulating using gates. So here you will be learning about what exactly you mean by gates, what is gate and different types of gates that you will be learning, which will help you to build up a combinational circuit. Apart from that, you will be learning about multiplexer, demultiplexer, encoders, decoders, and then you will be learning about programmable logical devices and programmable array logic. So these are the concepts that you will be learning in module number 3. Module number 4 focuses on introduction to your very log high level definition language. Okay. So here we will be using VHDL modules in order to develop different uh, software programs to build up different combinational circuits like multiplexers and counters. Here you will be also learning about the flip-flops like SR flip-flop, JK flip-flop, D flip-flop and JK master slave and T flip-flop and how they are going to help us in designing of your asynchronous sequential circuits. This is all about your module number 4. Module number 5 students focuses on designing of your registers and counters. So registers and counters are the basic uh, parameters that need to be focused in this particular module. So here you will be designing various binary counters, sequential counters and using your SR, JK flip-flops. Okay. So here you will be also learning about the parity checker what do you mean by the state tables and different graphs that you will be used in designing of this particular circuitry. So this is all about your module number 5. So this is how my dear students, the entire syllabus of your analog and digital electronic is been framed. As I told you, as it contains two different parts, the analog and the digital part, the module 1 focuses on the analog part and module 2, 3, 4 and 5 completely focuses on the digital part. Fine. Now, if you uh, want to refer to the textbooks related to this particular subject, we have uh, the main textbook that the students need to refer which covers the entire syllabus is uh, by Charles Roth and Larry Kenny. The subject, uh, the textbook name is Your Analog and Digital Electronics and it has been published by Kengage Learning and it is a 2019 edition. 
Sufficient books are available in the library. So you need not purchase your own copy of that particular textbook. Enough copies are available. Apart from that, we ensure that we, are, we will be giving you the notes that, all, that always you can refer for better understanding. Apart from that, whatever e-learning contents that we have related to those concepts, those contents will be also supplied to you so that you can have in-depth knowledge about those concepts and you can have a better understanding of that particular subject. The reference books that you will be using in this particular subject is by Anil K. Mani and Varsha Agrawal. This author focuses on the basic electronic devices and circuitry. Uh, publisher is Willy and it's a 2012 edition. This textbook you can refer it for the module 1 analog part. Then we have Donald P. Leach, Albert Paul Malvino, and Gautam Shah with the textbook title Digital Principles and Applications with 8th edition and the publisher is Tata McGrill Hall 2015. Okay, so this uh, textbook is going to help you to understand about the digital part. Apart from that, we have Maris Meno and uh, 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 subject code is Digital Design, the 4th edition. So this subject, uh, this textbook is also going to help you to understand the digital part of it. And then we have David Bell for electronic device and circuitry. So these are a few of the reference textbooks and the core textbook that you will be referring for understanding of this particular subject. As I told you students, we also have a practical uh, lab related to this particular subject. So the lab name is Analog and Digital Electronics Laboratory and the subject code is 18 CSL 37. So whatever concepts that we are going to learn module wise, those concepts we are going to practically implement it in the lab. So students, this is one of the benefit that you have with this particular subject. So whatever theoretical concepts that you learn in the class, the same concept that you are going to come and practice it in the lab also. So isn't it going to help you in clearing your uh, concepts in a better way? So in this particular uh, lab, what are the uh, uh, programs or the experiments that you will be doing? So here also in this particular lab, analog and digital electronic, you will be divided into two sections. One is part A and part B. So part A completely focuses on the analog part where uh, you will be learning on designing an earth-stable multi-vibrator circuit for three cases where the duty cycle will be given uh, for 50, less than 50 and more than 50 and you will be designing a circuit using IC555 timer. So whenever your concept of IC555 timer is very much clear in module number one, using that concept you can better design a earth-stable multi-vibrator for different uh, cases. So, once your op-amp concept is very much clear in module number one, the second experiment will help you to better understand that. So using the 741 op-amp IC, you are going to design a 1 kilohertz relaxation oscillator with a 50% duty cycle. And also you are going to simulate the same, where you will be learning the VHDL program uh, to write this and simulate the same experiment. Apart from that, using the 741 uh, op amp, you will be designing a window comparator for a given UTP and LTP value. So this is, these are the three experiments that are related to your analog part, uh, which are in part A section. Now related to your part B section, we are going to discuss about designing and implementing of a half adder and a full adder, half subtractor and full subtractor. And we are going to implement the same using your HDL program. So the fifth experiment that you are going to have is a four variable logic expression which is going to help you to design a 8 is to 1 multiplexer. Apart from that you will be realizing your JK master slave flip flop using your NAND gates. And then you will be designing a code converter that is from binary to gray and gray to binary conversion using basic gates. Apart from that, you will be also designing and implementing a mod n 
synchronous up counter using JK uh, master uh, JK flip flop for a counter up to 10. And lastly, the ninth experiment what you have is designing an implementation of your asynchronous counter using decayed counter which is going to count up to uh, from 0 to n. So, these are some of the and also you are going to demonstrate uh, 7 segment display using IC 7447. So, this is how your laboratory experiments are being designed. So, if you concentrate well in the class and clear your concepts in the classroom very well, that will always benefit you in the lab to perform that experiment which is already covered in your theory class. So, this is the briefing about the syllabus that you are going to have for this subject analog and digital electronic theory and analog and digital electronic lab. Hope uh, the learning session with me will be very fruitful and we both together will enjoy this subject and will have different teaching learning process apart from the traditional uh, learning what we have. So, we will be focusing both on theoretical concept as well as practical implementation of those concepts that we have studied in the class for better understanding and clarity. So, I urge you all to sincerely attend the classes and make the best use of the resources that are available in the department. Okay? Thank you for patiently uh, watching my uh, class and understanding the syllabus. For any queries that you have, you can text me and you can post me your queries in the group. I will be always there to help you and uh, clear your doubts uh, anytime for the subject that you have. Thank you. Thank you all.